This is a Middle Loop Quick 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 Class. Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and this is a Quick Class update on live streaming to Facebook from a DJI drone. We'll start out with a quick introduction, answering the questions, does it still work? And has DJI fixed some of the things that didn't work before? Next, we'll get into setting up Facebook and then setting up Restream, an intermediary. We'll go over the settings for the drone on the controller and what's changed there. We'll go live and show what that looks like. And finally, we'll cover some troubleshooting tips if you're having issues getting it to work. It's been a couple of years since we produced that first video on live streaming to Facebook from a DJI drone. Clearly a topic that has a lot of interest. And since a lot has changed, we thought it was time to revisit the subject. First, we wanted to verify that it still works. And I won't keep you in suspense. It does. Although, as I said, some things have changed. So in addition to showing what it looks like now, we also wanted to answer some of the questions we received over the years from people who've had difficulty getting it to work. We're going to assume that you've seen that first video we produced. Our goal here is not to reproduce that video in its entirety. There is a lot of good information there that we won't be repeating here. So if you haven't seen it, we recommend that you watch it also. We've provided a link at the end and in the description. Like before, for this video, we're using a DJI Mavic 3 with the RC Pro controller. First, we tested sending the stream directly to Facebook from the drone. As you may recall, that didn't work before, and we wanted to see if DJI fixed the problem. Well, they haven't. Sending it direct still doesn't work. So once again, we used an intermediary. And again, we're using Restream. Here too, many of the screens have changed. We'll show that shortly. And yes, there is still a free version which works just fine. If you're interested in all the details as to why we needed an intermediary, it's covered in that first video. Before we show Restream, let's start with Facebook. The funny thing is, in Facebook, you really don't need to do anything. That's because, as you'll see in a moment, when we set up Restream, we'll be giving it permission to our Facebook account to create and start a live streaming session. So we'll skip Facebook for now. We'll come back a little later to show what it looks like when you're streaming. And at the end of this video, when we give tips on troubleshooting, we'll log into Facebook and show some things you can check there. As you may recall, we're using a free basic account for Restream. Now, some people have reported difficulty signing up for a free version. So I thought I'd start there. Use the link we provided in the description. Incidentally, using this link will get you a discount if you ever decide to upgrade to a paid plan in the future to take advantage of additional features. But a paid plan is not necessary. Everything we're showing here today is using the free basic plan. Click on sign up today. Scroll down a little and select Start with Basic. Enter the email address and the password you want to use for your Restream account and click Sign Up. The next screen you're presented with is a little confusing. It's for upgrading to a paid account, but we're going to stick with the basic plan, so just go ahead and close this window. If you get this prompt, just close it, and as you can see, you're logged into a free plan. Now, Restream does require you to verify that the email address you used is valid. Look in your inbox for an email from Restream. It looks something like this. Click on the Confirm My Email button. All right, back on Restream. Let's set up Restream to use with a drone. The first thing we want to do is create a channel. As you may remember, Restream allows you to live stream to multiple social media accounts simultaneously. You need to set up a channel for each social media account you plan on using. We're just using one today to live stream to our Facebook account, so let's set up that channel. Click on the Channels menu item. Since we don't have any channels set up yet, it pops up this prompt to add one. Facebook is right here along with some of the more popular channels. If you're looking for a social media not listed here, there are a lot more under Add Channels. But we only need Facebook, so let's click it. Next, select Profile. And now you're prompted to log in to your Facebook account. Enter your Facebook login ID and password and click Login. And you'll end up back here on the home screen. When you create your Restream account, it automatically generates two streams for you, each of a different type. This one utilizes RTMP, which is the protocol the drone uses when sending its stream. So we'll use this one. 
Feel free to delete the other one, but it doesn't hurt anything, so we'll just leave it. Notice that it doesn't have any channels assigned to it yet, so let's assign the channel we just created. Click on the RTMP stream to open it. Since there are no channels assigned to this stream yet, it prompts you to add one. You can either create a new channel to use, or select one that's already created. And here's the channel that we just created for our Facebook account a minute ago. Let's click on it to use it. OK, we're almost done. You'll probably get this message. Just close it. Here, on the right-hand side, are all the channels that are assigned to this stream. And of course, we only have the one. You can add and assign more channels if you want. Just be aware that the free plan only allows for up to two. Now we need to enable the channel. Just click on the toggle. And that's it. Restream is set up and ready to be used. All you need to do is start sending a stream to this URL using this stream key, and it will create and start a live stream on our Facebook account. We'll show you how to send a stream from our drone in a second using the information provided here. But before we do, I wanted to point out that this screen is a little different than before. They've added these tabs depending on the protocol of the stream you'll be sending. Since our drone controller uses RTMP, just make sure you're on the RTMP tab before capturing these values. To capture these values, we still recommend copying and pasting them into a text file and then use that text file to copy and paste these values in the drone. If you're interested in more details on that method, we cover it in the first video. There are a couple of changes on the drone controller setup. In the upper right, click on the ellipsis and go to the transmission tab where you'll see live streaming platforms. Tap the right arrow and then tap RTMP. And here's one of the differences. They've added this field called stream key, which is great. It's more intuitive and now matches up better to most streaming services. However, there is still a trick to it. For RTMP address, use the value from the URL field in Restream. Here's the trick. You must add an additional forward slash to the end of the address. No spaces, just a forward slash. For stream key, use the value from the stream key field on Restream. Incidentally, I also tested the old method of putting both the address and the key together separated by a forward slash and entering it on the address field, and it still works. If you do that, just leave the stream key field blank. Like before, we're going to assume that your controller is on the internet and you have the aspect ratio and exposure settings for video already set. Okay, there's one more change to bring to your attention. For whatever reason, DJI now requires a microphone to live stream. If you tap Start Live Stream without one, you get this message. As you may recall, the RC Pro controller does not have a built-in microphone. We cover this in the first video. I tried a couple different ways to get around it, but never found one. So I went ahead and plugged in my DJI Mic 2 and it worked just fine. I'll provide links in the description to a couple mics we tested, but we like the DJI Mic 2 the best because there are no wires to get in the way. Now that we have our mic plugged in, clicking Start Live Stream does exactly what you'd expect. You get the countdown, just like before, and up pops the live streaming icon. And that's it. We're live. So let's jump over to Restream and see what it looks like. And there you go. Down here, you get some data about the incoming stream being received from the drone. And you'll notice, like before, we still get a warning about the keyframe interval. It prefers two-second intervals, but there's no way to change it on the drone, so just ignore the message. We're also getting a bitrate warning. This warning comes and goes. I believe it has to do with the quality of the controller's internet connection. If it persists, try adjusting some of the options on the controller. You can switch the resolution down to 720 or try changing the bitrate to smooth. Up here on the right, you can see the status of the outbound stream, which simply says streaming, indicating that we're live on this, our Facebook channel. So let's check out what it looks like on our Facebook page. And as you can see, we're live. Now you might remember me saying that the free version of Restream adds some branding. And here's what that looks like. If it bothers you, you might consider upgrading to a paid plan. If you're having issues getting it to work, there are a number of things you can check. Are you getting this error on the controller after clicking live stream? Most of the time when you see this error, it's because the address or the key is not exactly right. There's no room for error when entering these values. 
we strongly recommend that you use the copy and paste method that we showed at the end of the first video. Did you add that forward slash at the end of the address? Also make sure that there's no spaces in between characters or at the end of these values. This error could also be caused by a bad internet connection on your controller. You're probably using your phone as a hotspot. Try testing using a more reliable Wi-Fi connection. If the live stream does appear to start on the controller, but you aren't seeing it on your Facebook page, try to narrow down where the failure is. Log in the restream and see if it's receiving the feed. Check the incoming data we showed earlier. Also check the status of the outbound stream. If the incoming stream is good and the outbound is failing, check Facebook. Are you getting any messages over there? You can also eliminate the drone and restream from the equation and see if live streaming is available right within Facebook. Facebook has the ability to live stream with a camera right from within their own interface. Here, for example, I'm on the home page. After clicking on Live Video, check to see if the Go Live section is grayed out like this. If so, it's not available to you. And look up here, they provide a checklist of requirements. For example, they require that the account has been set up for at least 60 days. As you can see by the green check mark, this account passes. Also, if it's a business account, as opposed to a personal account, Facebook requires at least 100 followers, which this account fails. Personal accounts don't seem to have that restriction. Of course, personal accounts don't have followers, they have friends, and I have successfully been able to start a live stream on a personal Facebook account that only has a couple of friends. Anyway, this is a good place to look to see if live streaming on your account is even possible. If you're having trouble, I hope we've given you a couple of ways to narrow down the problem. So that's it for this quick class update. If you found this video useful, please take a moment to hit that like button. And don't forget to check out the description for all the links and videos we mentioned. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying! Thank you.